Esuleka Gwenzulisela Estugulwane Nesislanza Lago Nenzela Lebek Fanele Gwendege Ngayo Yes We are failing Vele Si Esulega Yes We are failing Vele Si Esulega We are doing all things right but the very, very important thing has not been discovered by us. I think of the first disciples of Baba Bengo. Boba be makinana and the Lord. Boba be makinana na labani. That was the first generation. Guaba stugulu ane sekala leso. Now, when they did their work, uma bende umse bendi wabo. At that time, the church was purely evangelistic. Libanda la lisamba ngamoya. Most of uh, the preachers of the time were not teachers. They were evangelizing like their father. And the work grew very fast. There was almost no town where we were not found because of those men of God. Somehow along the way, we changed. And uh, we formalized a church. We wanted to be like others. We, we, we lost our uniqueness. Where everybody in the church was a witness. We ended up with people who are saved but cannot testify. Up to this morning. Up to this morning. We have that problem. We have never embarked on making disciples according to the Great Commission. We have never done it. And that was our failure. If we gather people into our church and not be not discipled, it's like gathering material to a, a site where you're going to build. You get bricks, you get, you get sand, you get everything on the site. But they are not built. They are not built. And when they are not built, it's very easy for, for passer for, for those people who pass by to see that they can get material out of this and go and build their own. This is what has, has been happening of late. We need to change the way we do things. We should give time 
in our local churches for discipleship. I mean true discipleship. Where we can say as, as pastors and elders and anybody who leads to our congregants imitate me for I imitate Christ. I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a good service. We are called senior citizens of the church. Senior ministers of the church. But we can't tell anybody Imitate me. For I imitate Christ. When are we going to get there? We can't afford to be apologetic. And apologize that. Well, 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 it's, it's, we, are, we are human beings. Now, no apology. Let's take our rightful place. Talking about generational succession. Generational effectiveness. Uh, we are near, some of us are near our end. Yeah, we must not run away from that. Are there people? who have got something from us that even when we are no longer there, they will do what we have been doing and do it even better. Yes. Yes. I did not get an opportunity to learn and, and go to tertiary. Because there was no money at home. But I've made sure that my, my children go to tertiary. And they know more things than I. They understand more things than I. Because of their educational level. But I'm still their father. They come from me. When people see them. They see me. My product. Where is our product in the church? Thank you, Lord. I can't be threatened by my sons. I can't be threatened by my sons. Because they know so much. They so know a lot of things. They speak. English that I can't speak. But when I enter the room, they know who has come in. And they respect me for making them. Bayam Shonipa, Bangshon Pelagutin in Babewabo. 
Brothers and sisters, we need to do something about this. Let me take the case of Elisha and Elijah. Elijah had his natural parents. And he knew that his destiny was not with his biological parents. And the oxen and the plow that he was driving. He, it was not with the plow and the oxen that he was driving. Oh. His future was with Elijah the prophet. Uh, no, no, no. We must do something and do it very fast to save the situation or we will be just like another denomination you know when an, uh, Praise the Lord. I born in God. When John Wesley was about to depart, he wanted his friend, I think it was Fletcher or somebody, to take leadership of the Methodist Church. But unfortunately, Fletcher denied it him the opportunity uh, to uh, take over after him. And what he did, he, he gathered a group of men to lead the church. Now, it's a move from that prophetic or apostolic ministry to a different type of leadership. Leadership by a council or executive or committee or board, whatever you call it. From that time, when, when, actually, during uh, uh, John Wesley's time, the church was, was going this way. When this council took over, up to this morning, you think about that. And uh, if Fletcher probably had taken the leadership, the church would have gone to greater heights. But, but because it was led by a council, I'm talking about the church brothers. I'm talking about the church brothers. It's good. The, the, the leadership styles we have here in the church are very good, but they are not conducive for effective generational uh, 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 effectiveness. Fear not. I'm not inciting people to change the type of leadership we have. I'm just dropping a thought that we need to to, to, to think about and allow the blessing 
from the scriptures to flow. Now Elijah, Elisha was a, a disciple of Elijah. Elisha lo wa Elijah. During his towards his end of his journey, Elijah. If you read in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 15 and 16, God says this to Elijah. Go return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when you arrive, Anoint Hazael as king of Syria. First assignment. Anoint Hazael as king of, of, of Assyria. Two. Also anoint uh, Jehu the son of Nimshi as king of Israel. Thirdly. Anoint Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who shall take your place. Three assignments. Probably to Elijah, he felt he had a lot of work to do. With these three assignments. But he did not fulfill all these assignments. He only fulfilled one. By anointing Elijah. Elisha. Oh, Elisha, yeah, thank you. Now, when Elijah, when Elijah anointed uh, Elisha, he did not know he would not be able to anoint the other two guys. But God in his wisdom made him anoint a man who would succeed him. Before anointing these other gentlemen, Elisha, his successor. Now, Elijah, Elisha, after anointing him, he worked with him. He was his disciple. And we talk of mentoring people. Now, mentoring is impossible when you don't stay together. Walk together. Do things together. Going in and out together. Then there's a possibility of a mentor and a mentee. As we have been talking about mentors and mentees, it has not taken up. And it won't take up because the mentor stays in Orlando. The mentee stays in Mabato. It doesn't work that way. It's very important. Important. When Elijah was about to leave, Elijah pleaded for his, for his spiritual mantle. It's amazing that there were a number of, uh, of uh, the sons of the prophets. But, but the man who was close to Elijah, Elijah was Elisha. 
kodwa indvodza le yayithudane na Elijah kwakungelisha He knew that the old prophet was about to leave. What did the prophet do? Mzala so ta umuga. And he was very desirous to make sure that this man must not leave with this mantle. What did the land for the camel he had been at the band? I'm not going to push him, but I'm going to follow him. Angere ni push. I will go wherever he goes so that when he leaves I see how he lives and claim the mantle you know the story in 2 Kings chapter 2 the, uh, moving from Kilkal uh, going to Bethel Guya Bethel up to Jericho Guya fika Jericho all this time Elijah says my son remain here uh, God has sent me to do some job Also songe lesikhathi Elijah uthi ngivotsana sala la nkulunkulu sengifumeke wenda lokuthite lapha Elisha says nay father athi Elisha qha I'm going with you ngihamba nawe You see the desire You see the longing. In this young man. He saw something. In the man of God. And he, and he clung to him. Up to the end. When they came to, when they came to Jordan, you know the story. Uh, he, Elijah took his mantle. Elijah what had happened in that time and the water separated and they both went across Baba Billy Bawela bewelela ngesheya it was only after that Elijah said Baba ke ngulapho lapho what Elijah ask what you desire yindo ifunako before i leave ngingakahambi a double portion of your spirit ngiphe Moya wakho aphindwe kabili Elijah said you have asked for a very difficult thing Elijah was to qele indlo lelikhuni kakhulu But if it happens that you see me going away Kodwa ke uma ukuthi awendeka umbone mangihamba It is yours Wakho lo lokuqelile Let me remind you this Ake sengini khumbude nako Elijah is looking or seeking for something that he got at the very first they met with Elijah Elisha lo ufuna indvo layibone wayithola kweqala qala kona Elijah You remember when he found him driving his, his father's oxen Uta khumbula phela ma umkhanza ahamba netingabi teyise Elijah took his mantle Elijah lona wathatha libhali ingubo yakhe and he hit him with it. Wamshaya ngayo. That was the beginning of things. Kwaba ngilapho tindwe diqala khona. Why does Elisha hunger so much for the mantle? Kungani Elijah afuna ingubo kangaka. He has tasted the power of the mantle. Uwana mbithile emandla lengubo. When praised God. When, when the mantle touched him he went home and uh, slaughtered the oxen took the yoke and made them firewood gave a farewell from his, for, to his parents it was the drive of the mantle He received the very first time they met with Elijah. That's how at times one gets the mantle. At the very first meeting. Of the senior man. And the young man or the young lady. When, when, when the man of God led by God touches that particular person in a particular way 
That particular way affects that young person. And in, in that young person, there's a desire to get more of it, to become like the senior man. God help us. God help us. We've got to make our Elishas before we go. If we want this movement to go up. The two reasons why Elisha inherited the mantle. He was present when the whirlwind took the old prophet away. He was not a 